Okay, and we're on to the next step, which is find or create supporting photos, tables, graphs, descriptions, or alt text should include the keyword. If using supporting information from another website, always include the link, and there should be multiple images throughout the article. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. I like to go to unsplash.com. And I also like to use pexels.com. And when I am going through my article looking for what type of images I'm going to be using, um, I might pick up a keyword and decide to type in that keyword. Like if I were going to type in strategy. Chess is always a good a good indicator strategy. I'll let all down on that. And I will make sure that I am not being outdone by Pexel. No. Um, other than maybe that one, I pretty much like the choice that I made. So then we go back and I am going to add an image here. So when I decide that I want to add an image, start writing or type to choose a block. Plus sign, image, upload, or insert from URL. Use uh, that one. That's big, unnecessarily big. So what I can do is just make it smaller. I can choose the alignment, make it center if I like. And go to block and just so I can make sure that my keyword is exactly copy the keyword but when I write it in in the alt text I might put the keyword and then try to work in the word strategy what just happened? What is business networking and its benefits and strategies? And then I'll put man playing chess. All right, so Now, this is a line center. I am going to size it from over here so that you can see as well that you can size it from over here. I'm also going to change the style because I do like it rounded. And in the caption, I'm going to write, um, <clears throat> it's important to consider the strategy of business networking and its benefits. Period. Okay. So now we have a <clears throat> image with a, and this is the alt text over here and its caption. Right? So that's how you would source the images and you would put them in multiple places. They don't have to be rounded. They don't have to be centered, um, but they do have to have the caption and the alt text and they do have to be relevant for what you're talking about at that moment. So I'm talking about strategies here 
and I would put an image about strategies here. You can put it farther up if you want it, you know. But you would want to have multiple images throughout the site. Um, <clears throat> a good rule of thumb is for every thousand uh, or every every 500 to 750 words you might want to have an image as long as the image is relevant now you don't need to have a lot of images you can have an image for every thousand words but as long as the image is eye-catching and relevant and that it contains the alt text and the caption and is where it's supposed to be and is attractive that's absolutely fine all right so we covered step number 13. Step number 14, find or create supporting video. Now, when I say create supporting video, I don't mean for you to set up a, um, <clears throat> a huge like studio session and go through anything. You don't actually have to create supporting video at all. Um, you know, if you would like to, there is the option of using PowerPoint slides to create something, but there's, absolutely no reason why you would need to do that as you know um unless you're trying to create something that is its best best absolute quality and chance of ranking but you don't have to you don't have to because there's this thing called youtube which also has free videos that you can use so what i'm going to do on youtube is i'm going to again take the keyword and I'm going to search on YouTube for the keyword. And then I'm looking and I see these videos. Now, I've already <clears throat> decided that I was going to use this video. But the way I would do this is that I would click on it. Need a professional logo for your I don't brand. need to watch it, but I am going to share it. And when I share it, it's going to bring me up this list. I don't care nothing about this list. Down here, I like this link. This link is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back to the website. And I am going to insert... In this block, common blocks, video. And I'm going to insert from URL and I'm going to paste that URL in there. And it's going to embed this video. And always make sure that you're saving the draft as often as possible. Do not ever publish anything while you're on someone else's site. Allow them to publish it at their leisure or schedule it to be published. But once you publish it and it goes live, um, they might get upset. And specifically here, do not publish anything. Okay, so now I have an embedded video. And you can always preview something to see how it would look once it does go live. Okay. There's our video. There's our image. Okay, close that out. And we have completed that step. Find or create supporting video if able. We've done that. Find internal links to use if available and relevant. Okay, so what will be something that you would do if you are working on biz like uh, websites that automatically have all this stuff that's set up that I'm going to tell you about, then it will be easier. Um, 
you would nece you wouldn't necessarily need to leave out of this page if you have Yoast SEO um, paid plugin uh, because you will see that I have a list of links down here a list of links that I can potentially link to in this article these are all links that are on this website links that I can link to here in this article and they would be internal links so book your way to wealth finding an entrepreneurial spirit um, and what I would do is I would find a hmm I'm looking I, I don't want to spend the time right now looking for a place to link to um, but I want you to see how it's done so so what I am going to do I'm going to find something to link to with this. And let's say that I'm going to put as something that you would have control over with networking is being able to empower your local businesses period and I'm going to use the link that I just got from the side and add it in there and now there's a link an internal link which is actually going to be helpful because it creates like a web of connected uh, blocks that help each other rank higher. So I have internal and outbound links. This is the SEO plugin. We've just talked about this before. We put in the key phrase, and this is where you can uh, edit what happens when you edit what people see when they find your keyword if they search on Google and it also gives you several other things to look at like um it says my meta description length is uh, that there's no meta description that has been specified and that is true because for this article I have not done that all right so let's see where are we at with our instructions um, write article. Okay. Well, we'll come back with that then.